Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. So uh, for those who watched my Jaguar Wright and Tasha K reading, you will see that Jaguar has since actually addressed everything that happened between her and Tasha. And part of that was that she confirmed my tea, which was that she just figured Tasha had some sort of, you know, um, other intention or whatever you would want to call it. And uh, she said that she just figured she let her expose herself. And so uh, that was confirmed. My little hashtag predicted it. Gotta, I guess, start learning actually how to edit some things so that I can start, you know, uploading those clips. But we are actually going to be talking today about Wendy Williams. So uh, Lots of stuff going on there, but before we get started, if you guys are enjoying my videos, please like, please subscribe, share if you want to. Um, I truly do appreciate it. YouTube is definitely a whole new ball game for me, I guess you would call it. And so, you know, I'm just getting started over here. Now with Wendy, a lot has come out, you know, with, um, DJ Booth calling people victims of who knows what at this point, right? And um, he's no longer working on the show. Apparently a lot of people have actually been let go. Wendy's been coming on air seeming very out of it. So it, there's a lot going on there. You know, she sort of kind of, I guess, addressed it last week saying something about that it's not easy and it's hard work. I've seen people you know, maybe trying to kind of defend her, saying like she's used to having this big studio audience and now she's got to get used to, you know, that there's like eight staff members in the audience or something like that instead of there being this full crowd for her to work with and bounce off of. And so since it is just basically her and Norman and Suzanne, you know, in a camera at this point, you know, I think that people are trying to kind of like be a little generous in giving her that sort of excuse. So we are going to take a look at, you know, Wendy, like what is really going on behind the scenes? Is she okay? Is she spinning out of control? What is really going on with her? What really happened with her and DJ Booth? Because, you know, there's rumors that they were um, maybe romantically involved with one another. He says that that isn't true. But she did always sort of make all of these, you know, kind of like comments about him. So what I want to see, you know, like what is the truth behind that situation? What is the future going forwards for Wendy? What exactly is going on with her and how will the show go going forwards? So we're going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and look at things there. If you wanted to book your own personal private reading with me, Check out my website. It will be linked in the description box, psychicbellalove.com. And you can also use coupon code BELLA20 to save 20% off your reading. I will be updating my website later on today to add more um, availability as well so that there will be extra appointment times and not just in the afternoon. So I'm actually going to go ahead and spray my Aura Cleanse spray from Moonlock Love and it says that it is to remove negative energy, refresh and renew your sacred space. So this is really good. You know, I had mentioned her site the other day on one of my other readings. I forgot to show you guys this product. I really love this. It smells amazing. And so I think we're probably gonna need it for this one for sure. And I'm actually gonna do an updated reading on Tasha K after this and then I also have other readings coming oh my god I am so sorry if you guys are hearing my landscapers <laughs> they come like at different times every week so it's not like it's like oh well Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. don't record a video because they're gonna be out there they just come whenever and it seems like they're here a lot. <laughs> so I really, really apologize, guys. I would try to record later, but I don't have time today. The morning is usually when I have the most time to do my videos while my son is in his online classes. So Spirit, thank you for joining us today. 
we call upon you to ask for you to bring us clarity on what is going on with Wendy Williams, the Wendy Williams show, what is happening behind the scenes, anything that you would like to share with us. We'll also be asking you to get your food. This is not meant for any malintent or malicious purposes, only to seek and gain knowledge and clarity. Please bless anybody that we ask about, as well as anybody who is watching. Thank you, Spirit, for joining us and answering our questions today. So, let's see. And do you guys actually watch the Wendy Williams show? I used to watch it when she first, first came on the scene, you know, with the show and everything. Because I had heard her here and there, like, on the radio over the years. But, um, you know, like most people, by the time that she came out with her show, I had a smartphone with an aux cable. And so I was kind of listening to my own stuff on Spotify and, you know, a Slacker and all of that and everything. So... I would watch her show here and there, like if I was home in the mornings, because I also worked a day job back then. But um, I really don't watch it anymore unless there's like a clip on YouTube, you know, that they're doing for part of the show, like, oh, today's Wendy's Hot Topics or whatever. And that's usually like what I'll watch unless it's like somebody that I'm super interested in is doing some kind of an interview with her you know, then I'll go and actually like watch more of the show, but I really only ever watch clips of it on YouTube. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I don't really know personally of too many people who do watch it, but yet we all still talk about Wendy all the time, right? Like even though we're not watching the show and talking about what a great show she had today, we're all still talking about her all the time regardless. So. That is, I think, in a way, the power of Wendy Williams <laughs> is that she still is able to, able to capture your attention and be sensational or whatever you would want to call it, regardless of if this is a show that we actually are interested in seeing or not, right? So this is like really interesting, these cards that I'm actually getting in regards to her. A lot of this with the Three of Swords, you know, her behavior, her being off her rocker or whatever you want to call is a direct result of, you know, her husband having this outside baby and their relationship breaking up and her seeing that her whole entire like life as she knew it had completely changed. And she's having a very hard time, what Spirit is saying is, adapting to it. You know, she went on the hot girl summer, as she was calling it. She was doing all these things. And it's like, it was a good distraction. But then once uh, everything sort of slowed down, and, and maybe it was because of being in quarantine with COVID and everything. But the more time that she had to really sit and think about everything that happened and really feel the loss of this man that she felt was sort of like almost like he was completely in control of her whole life. I know people have like mentioned that and said that over the years that he did play like a major role in um, keeping her on time and managing her and, you know, playing a big part behind the scenes and everything. She's really, really, really been struggling to replace that energy in her life. I know she's got that new manager that she talks about, Bernie. Um, she's had, you know, new friends come into her life, like all these new people, but none of them are replacing Kevin to her. And it's like, whatever help that they offer her, whatever they try to give her with the four of cups, she doesn't take it. Like she's not listening. So even though these are people who actually do have, you know, good ideas for her and who do want her to succeed, because obviously if she's succeeding, they are as well she's not listening to them. She's not working with them the way that she's supposed to because, <coughs> excuse me, my allergies are crazy today. Um, 
because she is so focused on Kevin, what he brought to the table, what they had together. And it's like being so stuck in the past is preventing her from having a good future going forwards. She really honestly would benefit from a lot of therapy. I know that she's, you know, gone in and out of like rehabs and things like that since this whole thing has happened. But Spirit's actually saying that there there is this missing link in her not having a reliable support person, whether that's a therapist, a sober coach, something like that, that is working with her on that daily basis. It's more like, we'll throw you in treatment for a month, and then as soon as you get out, you're back on the road, you're back to the grind, and she's not taking enough time to work on herself, her healing, fixing her spirit, fixing the broken parts of her so then here comes a lot of self-sabotage with the ace of swords in dealing with her emotional side of things and it's almost like when you are personally beating yourself up like i lacked this and that's why this person left me or i should have been more like that or if i was 20 years younger or if i was you know had a bigger butt or if i was prettier or whatever and then that person would self-harm. That's what she is, you know, doing. That's how she is dealing with things. And the Five of Cups coming up behind that self-sabotage card, that self-harm card, is really showing of she's ignoring what is still in her life and focused on what isn't. And so that is causing her a lot of distress, a lot of emotional and balance a lot of making things hard for herself but again you know spirits just saying like she should have taken more time taken a really long break not pushed herself to go have the hot girl summer not gone on the pr tour thing that she did you know after the divorce happened but actually truly maybe just like sat down in the house talked to the therapist cried your eyes out did whatever you had to do because she tried so hard to shove that part down that now it's all coming back up to the surface and even worse than before. Um, yeah, because the Nine of Swords is really showing up as her current energy. Heartbreak, being really, you know, stuck in what broke you instead of focusing on moving forwards. But she does have the Strength card here. And she does come up as the Queen of Wands. So I do feel her coming out the other side of this. However, it is going to be a difficult journey for her. You know, that is something that is coming for her. But she also hasn't hit her rock bottom yet for her to be forced into that situation where she does have to focus on fixing things, moving forwards, you know, actually truly healing herself. So it... In the meantime, she's going to have good days and then she's going to have bad days because it's like, here's the four of wands, you know, we're celebrating. Everything is great. Everything is good. I'm, I'm doing better. I haven't accused, you know, and again, just a disclaimer, everything in this video and everything in this reading is for entertainment purposes only, all alleged. I can't prove any of this stuff, you know, got to give that, but it's like, I've been clean all week. I've been going to work on time. I did some great shows and I did a killer interview. And then the next week we're at the Eight of Swords and it's like, everybody's coming after me. I don't know what happened. I don't know how to fix things. I don't know where my life is going. And then the Five of Wands of trying to work with other people to fix things. But then here comes the Seven of Cups where a lot of the people in her life too are creating a false illusion for her. It's like, because we also have the world in reverse. It's like, oh, Wendy, you know, if you went on TV in a bikini and ran around in a circle and told everybody your life is great, everybody's gonna believe you and you know, then we'll, we'll just forget about it and we'll move on. Whereas those other people that we mentioned earlier, you know, are sitting there like, Wendy, just tell everybody we're having a hard time right now. I'm adjusting because of coronavirus and the way that the audience has to be. Sometimes I lose my place because I'm not 
getting that audience interaction that I'm used to. No, she's going to go choose to run around on the stage in the bikini making a fool out of herself because she's listening to the wrong people. Now, these are people because they show up as the page of pentacles and the page of swords. They're very immature. And it's like you did something to somebody else or I didn't like the way that you handled that situation before. So now I see my perfect opening to sort of get you back, you know, and give you this wrong idea and give you things that you should be doing instead that are only going to further take you down and discredit you and ruin ruin your any chance you have of coming back from this because there is some vindictive people around her who definitely do feel that she really truly deserves to fall because of either things that they've experienced for years with her or just not agreeing with what is going on in the current cycle. Now, the wheel card for me in this deck, which is the Tarot of Dreams by Sarah Marchetti. You guys know I love this deck. Um, this is my karma card. So she's definitely in a karmic cycle too, where both the good and bad things that are happening to her in her life can both be attributed to everything that she has you know done been a part of whatever you want to call it leading up until now and because of that you know here we have the judgment card with the karma card she's definitely facing that so i do feel that not only not only is it affecting her money with the page of coins but that there are these people behind the scenes who are purposely playing a part in that and trying to F up her money because they feel like your time has come. This is what you deserve. You screwed over people. You made people look bad. You did them dirty. You did all these things behind the scenes because people keep like spirit keeps talking about. Yeah, like everybody knows on the surface, Wendy likes to tear people apart. She's, you know, been a shady biatch this whole entire time. That's why we love her because she's exposed people. She's talked shit about people. She's great for that. However, that's the surface stuff that we all know, right? Like this is behind the scenes things that people do not know about. And um, I know there was like, a long time ago um some and a long time ago i want to say like the early 2000s there was somebody who came out with a book or something about what wendy and her husband had did to them um as far as like back in the radio days and stuff and how they kind of sort of used her and then threw her under the bus and ruined her and everything for their own gain spirit is saying that this is something that has actually continued this isn't just talking about that situation but that that has been a pattern for her in her career and Kevin definitely played a part in that and so Wendy also feels like you know why am I the only one that's paying for all this stuff like you you got all this stuff out of me in our divorce settlement you get to go off and have a happy new life with another woman and a new baby and I'm the one that's sitting here dealing with all of my problems, health and otherwise, and having all these people come back to bite me in the ass for things that you were a part of. That is how she is feeling. So it, it is really interesting because Kevin and I believe the other girl that he was messing with, her name is Sharina, do both show up in this. Sharina shows up as the empress. Kevin is the emperor in this reading. He keeps showing up as the emperor. And it's like, Wendy thinks that they're doing stuff behind the scenes to her. They actually aren't. They really truly aren't. Like Kevin has said things here and there in an attempt to clear his name or to justify certain things that have happened or came up you know like oh they did this bad deal one time and then Kevin's gonna come out and be like Wendy wanted to sign that I tried to talk her out of it she would not let me so I had no say so in that but that's really only like the extent of it like he's not behind the scenes calling people 
and being like, did you know Wendy was drunk at your interview or did you know that she did this or that? Not at all, but that's what Wendy thinks is happening here and that that's why he is circumventing things. Kevin has his own karma that's definitely going to come to him <coughs> in his own time, in his own way. He doesn't need to, you know, this is a separate thing for Wendy because at the end of the day, guys, like if I go kill somebody with somebody else, we're both going to get karma and it doesn't just necessarily mean that we're both getting it together in the exact same way. It means that karma is going to hit both people separately in the way that it knows that it can hit you the hardest, right? And so that's really, you know, like what Spirit is saying, like, Kevin doesn't have to, you know, deal with that part right now because he is going to deal with it separately on his own terms in his own way later on. This is Wendy's and Wendy is the public figure. That's why we're seeing it, you know, out here. She really does need to take control of the, um, because I'm trying to be careful about what I'm saying. And again, this is all alleged entertainment purposes only, but we do know that she has a past with certain things that affect your mental health or you self-treat mental health issues to put it kindly and she needs to be extremely extremely careful with that with this um four of cups and the devil card right behind it because the temptation is to really just escape sorry i didn't mean to flip anybody off there um but the the problem is you know the temptation to just use things drinking alcohol drugs whatever you want to you know, talk about to escape what is truly going on around her at this time. Now, there is this King of Wands who is coming up being very vocal about everything that has happened. They are upset because the offer that was given to them with the Six of Coins was not what they were looking for. So I would venture to say that this is DJ Booth. And, you know, he's not exactly happy because Spirit is saying, you know, as in regards to this offer, I keep feeling like there was a lot of people um, behind the scenes who work on the show, staff, you know, whether that means that they're the DJ like Boof or they're like a production assistant behind the scenes or whatever. A lot of people were let go, but it was with some sort of like monetary offer attached to it. So I have heard rumors, but nothing has been confirmed. You know, that there was something that happened behind the scenes. A lot of people were no longer going to be able to work there anymore because of this alleged very inappropriate incident. And the people who were in that situation were going to have to go, you know, were given money to leave. And he did not feel like what he was given was enough. And so it's like, I'm going to talk. But at the same time, what Spirit is saying is it's in his best interest actually not to really say anything because and to let the court of law deal with it, you know, because he would have better success in not only getting any sort of um, damages, repercussions from that, letting, you know, that sort of karma play out towards Wendy and the show and everything, but also it's going to help prevent him from further damaging his own career. Because it's like right now, people are going to look at it as like it's justified what he's saying, right? To an extent, like, yes, everybody sees that Wendy's going off the rails. Everybody sees that the show is kind of a hot mess right now. Everybody has some idea that something is really, you know, not working out. However, if he goes too far with it, then other celebrities are going to be like, why would I want to work with you? Because you're going to get off my tour and talk about all the drunk girls that were, you know, backstage or the way that I yelled at my manager. And I don't want that. So... He does have to kind of tread that fine line of, I said enough to make people understand that more is going on there, but I also need to shut up before I get too far into it and then hurt myself in the future. Um, we're in the hangman phase right now, actually, where 
we've gotten some stuff and then it's gonna be a little like quiet but not for long not for long because again like I said the windy is gonna be very up and down right now she's gonna have her great days she's gonna have her bad days but there is a lot more that is going to come up and the people who are holding on to this information are doing so waiting for money or it's money motivated. So it's like, if I feel like I can score the interview that's gonna like pay me a lot, like for example, you know, I was that production assistant that was also let go at the same time as DJ Booth. And you know, just for example, Storm Monroe is gonna give me $20,000 to come on his platform and tell everybody what really happened that's when they're coming out and saying something, right? And so I almost feel like right now, like the people that have the really, really big information, the stories that are gonna come out and expose things that are really gonna rock every uh, rock everybody's world, including Wendy's, they are waiting to see, like, are we all ganging up together doing a lawsuit? Are we gonna be able to get any money out of that? You know, would it be in my better interest to go to the blogs and get paid more that way? Once they figure out where the money is and what the right time is to speak, oh, things will be spilled. Very salacious things as well. And Wendy is going to lose it because we have the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So, it's or the six of cups and the eight of swords i'm sorry and so it's like people are talking they're not gonna shut up you're gonna hear all about it you're gonna hear everything and wendy it's almost like wendy just wakes up one morning and it's like <gasps> everybody knows like this about me and it's not gonna be very good for her personally it's also not going to go very well as far as the show goes um, because we have the Palace of Wands in reverse. Palaces in this deck to me represent like relationships or businesses or even your home and it's, you know, some sort of a foundation, right? And so for it to be in reverse in this sense, it's like nothing's working right in, that, in, in there. Like, so it's just like the show could actually end up going belly up or completely getting canceled or Wendy comes to some sort of an agreement behind the scenes with Deb Mar Mercury or Lionsgate or whoever her production company is with all of that and I do see there being some sort of separation between the two with the two of cups in reverse that this partnership will end um I don't think it's gonna happen before the end of this year but I don't get it lasting very far into the new year as well. You know, it's like they're going to try really hard to make this work and to drag it out as much as they can. Because I know that there was some sort of like renewal of a contract or whatever that happened. And so Spirit is saying that, um, you know, it, things will end before that contract is over. It is going to be a mutual agreement between the two. However, it definitely is going to take a little bit longer to get there because both sides are just like, well, maybe it'll turn around. Maybe we can get it to work. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do that. But it just, it's not happening. So with the sun card, there is still so much more that is going to be exposed that is going to come out and it is going to leave Wendy in this three of wands position of I want to run away from this, but I can't and I don't know how to deal with it. So it, let's ask what the relationship was between her and DJ Booth. Um, I have not watched any of the new season at all. You know, I know she has a different DJ on there now. I've heard on I, I try not to watch or um, look up too much about these people before I do the readings on them. I will look up like an astrological sign or I'll look up enough so that I have like the overall picture of what's going on. But I don't, I try not to like, you know, get so much that it would make me biased or anything like that or, or um, change my opinion on anything. 
but I've heard that she supposedly is treating the new DJ sort of like boof where she's being really flirty with him and somebody mentioned yesterday on some live stream that I was watching and they were talking about just kind of like all the hot topics going on. Um, it was a commentary channel. I don't even remember their name. I'm so sorry if I figured out. I'll put it in the comments, guys. But they were talking about Wendy sort of um, goes out of her way to mention men a lot and to make it seem like she's this hot topic herself when it comes to men or, you know, this desired person. And so they were saying that she's been doing a lot of that with the new DJ and just trying to kind of take that focus off of things and make it seem like she's some hot commodity and has all these suitors coming her way. So, um, we will see what is going on with that. Oh my God. I am so sorry. This lighting just changed. Ah, I need to get another stand and white so I don't have to just Depend on the window and the ever-changing light coming in through here. Let's see if that's a little better. Okay. I need to fix my curtains too. Like, I don't want to like yank on them too hard and then have the um, rod come out of the wall. But I am curious to see what was the real relationship with Boof because she always made a big deal out of he likes to bring me food and he likes to watch me eat and he likes to, you know, he'll come over and fix my TV when I can't figure out how to use the remote and this and that. And so it, it was sort of almost like she was trying to assign him this role as the new Kevin in her life that was taking over and doing everything for her. But, you know, it's like, was that what was really the case here? Okay, this is interesting. I don't get any actual cards of romance, so I definitely do get that he was telling the truth. Um when he, you know, has said that they have not had anything going on together in that sense. What Spirit is saying is, is that, um, and what the cards are saying, Wendy was definitely trying to change that situation, but it's so weird too. It's almost like, Either I'm going to make you be my boyfriend, but if you're not going to, then I'm at least going to make you be very, like, loyal and indebted to me and sort of almost like that, like, go-to person that I can always call on for things. And Boof saw himself as sort of almost this protector of her with the King of Swords. Um... I feel like because she's coming up as the five of cups in this, like as far as the energy that he, you know, sort of witnessed or had with her or whatever, he saw her at some very dark low points, like going over there and finding her on the floor, like completely out of it or having these emotional breakdowns where she's, you know, fine one second. And then all of a sudden it's like, I lost everything. I lost everything, you know? And so it's like he stepped up to protect her. To feel like this woman needs somebody in her corner. I'm the only person, you know, that can do that. Or she feels comfortable with me. And so if that's where we're at with things, then I guess it's my role to be that person for her. So what Spirit's saying is, you know, when she would say those things like, oh, he came and fixed my remote or he likes to watch me eat. It's not... He likes to watch me eat because that's some weird fetish of his or we're, you know, having dinner before we get down to pound town, but more of the same way that you would ask your grandma if she ate today, just caring, nurturing, like, I want to take care of you. I feel bad for you. I know you're going through a hard time, but she didn't let him like be that person for her. Um, because there was always either this tendency to sort of lash out at him at times 
And that was starting to really take a toll on him is what Spirit is saying. But also, she very much, you know, like would be sort of inappropriate with him if she was really messed up that day. And it's like he got to the point with the Seven of Wands where he felt like almost like he was constantly having to watch his back around her. You know, like we talk about the bosses then we always think of some like older white man who's a little handsy with his secretary, you know. That's how their situation started being. To where he was almost like, gird your loins, we're going into Wendy's office, you know. She's going to say some shit to me. She's going to get all touchy-feely with me. She's going to be inappropriate with me. And it started to just be so uncomfortable to him. And that he really was with the hermit and the hangman starting to pull away from her. It's like, um, yeah, I left food outside your door, but I had to run because I have a meeting across town. Whereas before, you would have knocked on the door, came in, got the plate out, put it all on the plate for her, been like, sit down, eat, watched her, made sure she was going to eat, you know. It started being like, like I said, I left the food outside the door, like almost like he's DoorDash. <laughs> and so... That is something that was starting to really happen between them because he just felt like he had to, you know, really be very careful around her. And with this two of swords energy followed by the three of swords, it's like Wendy screwed things up between them with her behavior towards him. To where with the Knight of Wands, he was going to walk away before he was let go. He was actually really truly considering that. So it is a little interesting that he's mad about the amount of like settlement or money or that it is motivated by money. But I mean, I also get it. We all have egos and we would all rather leave any situation on our own terms than to have somebody else decide that our time is up in that situation, right? And so it, that is where he's coming from. Also, there's something about he felt like if he would have walked away on his own terms with the Ace of Coins, he could have been the one who was sort of steering the negotiations or being the person that was in charge of like how that would all play out. Like, oh, you're going to give me a check and then we're just going to say that I, you know... I have to prepare because I'm going to go on tour with somebody next year or something like that. And that's why I couldn't do the show this year. But because that was taken away from him, now he is out here seeking justice. Because it's like I put up with all this, you know, SHIT. I was doing all these things for this woman with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And yet... I still, with the Seven of Cups, was let go and I wasn't given the opportunity to walk away on my own terms like I was planning. But on top of that, with the Three of Coins and the Nine of Coins, his frustration is really, really, really motivated by the money. Now, we do have the Four of Wands, so there is more information that he is going to bring out in his effort to get what he wants out of this situation, which is going to result in the tower card for Wendy. So DJ Boof is definitely going to play a part in her major downfall that is coming and the end of this show. There's other people behind the scenes that are going to join in with him. So it, you may not even directly hear all of this from DJ Boof. It might be that other people are like, well, Boof talks, so I'm going to also. Or I'm going to go clarify what the heck he meant when he said all of that or whatever the case may be. And so he's, but he is sort of one of the major players and one of the major catalysts for what is going down. However, Spirit cautions us to remember that if Wendy hadn't done these things, there would be nothing to expose. You know, that is always the major thing that we have to take away from any, 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 you know, celebrity scenario, these exposing moments, these cancellations, is that if you didn't do those things, 
then there would be nothing to hold against you. There would be nothing to use against you. There would be nobody to come out and talk about you in this sense, but you put yourself in that situation. And again, you know, just pulling a couple more cards to see like what's going to happen with Wendy. Queen of Coins and Ten of Swords. She's losing her power. She's losing what she ultimately worked so hard for. She is going to really be in a bad place financially and otherwise. But again, she did it to herself. DJ Booth is going to see himself as the Six of Wands victorious because he does ultimately get what he wants out of this situation. But just, again, keep in mind, you know, like this was years and years and years of karma coming back to get somebody. And it is unfortunate. I mean, I don't feel like she's going to completely 100% like end up like on skid row, but is she going to have these major production deals? Is she going to have all this money coming into her? Is she going to really be the Wendy Williams that she built herself up to be before this point any longer? No. Um, that heyday is definitely behind her. She can find herself, actually. If she, and, and again, you guys, just keep in mind, too, a lot of this stuff is based on the current energy. If Wendy decides next week, let me go make it right with everybody. Let me go to rehab. Let me go take a time out and work on myself. The energy and this prediction can all change. But if she continues on this same path, then definitely this is what is going to happen. I actually keep getting, though, within the next five years, and I do think it probably will take five years, she's going to find a King of Cups man who is going to bring her back to her palace of coins. So she finds somebody who is a new Kevin to her because they show up as the lovers, but it's not going to be like the, oh my God, Wendy Williams, you know, the way that we know it, but it will be a toned down better version of her. And we'll probably see her more so in a situation like maybe she's using a platform like YouTube. And I kind of see her almost going into more of like, an interview, almost Larry King kind of, a, you know, direction where it's like, let's sit down, have a podcast, have these really intelligent, insightful conversations with people and show that Wendy has calmed down. She's gotten herself to a better place and, you know, just the whole overall vibe of everything changes at that point. But it is, Spirit said, about five years from now, and it does take the influence of that new man in her life to completely change those things for her. The next five years, again, if we're going off the current energy and she continues the way that she has been, is going to be a lot about her having ups and downs, ups and downs before she finally completely says, I've had enough. I recognize where my rock bottom was, and I'm going to work on it going forward. So... I hope that that helped to bring some clarity, guys. You know, I definitely feel bad because I wanted to get, I hate being bad news bear. I really, truly do. I hate getting bad information on people, but hopefully, you know, this did clear some things up, bring some clarity to the situation. Um, let's all keep Wendy in our thoughts and prayers because addiction, mental health issues, they are very real things. It's just the same as somebody who's struggling with any other health issue. And it's not an easy thing to deal with. And so she does have all my sympathy, my compassion. And I do really, truly pray for her because I always feel like everybody has a chance to grow and change and become better and do better and live better and just have a better life. So let's pray that she does so. And if you made it this far, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things. Um, and I guess we have to hit the notification bell now too. Sorry, I'm so new to all this. And then also, if you wanted to book your own personal private reading with me, my website will be linked in the description, psychicbellalove.com. And you can use the code BELLA20, all in caps, at checkout to get 20% off your first reading with me. And thanks once again, guys.